I was drawn to the project because I wanted to work with Guy. Um, I met Guy 24 years ago um, on his first sort of main project and then again in 99 uh, on his second and neither prevailed and so um, when this opportunity came around I was delighted to uh, jump on board. Working with Guy is interesting. It's kind of like, it's a very different experience from any other film experience I've had before. Um, I, uh, the best analogy I think I could give you is if you were in the Miles Davis Quintet and Miles called you and said, I'm going to do a gig on Friday and it's going to be a sextet, I want you to bring your vibraphone and be in the band and we're going to open up with Stella by Starlight. Um, you would get on stage with the vibraphone and Miles would shout over, actually, we're going to do all the things you are, or no, Cherokee at this tempo. One, two, two, two. And you're going to lead the solos in five, four, three, two. <laughs> so that's what it's like working um, with him. But it's brilliant because <clears throat> it's another tool that I think actors should have. I like that, you know, imp impulsive nuance and um, he's got a very sharp mind and uh, it's great for us to keep on reinventing the wheel. You've got to be on your toes um, uh, with him, there's no doubt about that. He does uh, push you, you know. Bugsy's great, Bugsy's great. He's, uh, it's been a pleasure meeting him. You know, he's a, he's a Manchester boy as well and he's from Crumpsall and um, I didn't know much of his work before this at all and then my friends back in the UK are like, oh, we love him, he's the governor and he's a very, very sharp guy, you know, um, and he just tells me what he's reading and I'm like, yeah, different man, he's reading, he's reading different things, he's reading about Napoleon, he's reading about different leaders and he's putting that into his work and that's probably why he's a, a cut above the rest, you know, and he's a Manchester kid, so he's, he's lovely, he's a very nice lad. And it's only his second film, and it's amazing that he's dropped in so well, because he's, and I think that because of that, I think that because it is only his second film, and he's not perhaps spent, you know, eight to 12 years learning specific things and technique and this and that, that that's maybe why He's good. I think you know technique can sometimes screw an actor up. You, 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 it can it can geld the natural nuance of someone's work if if you like, you know. Um, so yeah, it's, it's brilliant that he's uh, he's in both pictures. So I play Ben Harris, who is the consigliere to Hugh's character, uh, and Hugh plays um, Greg Simmons. Hugh Grant, of course, and Ben is, um, he's a broker really for most of the deals that go down for Mr. Simmons. And he's, um, he's a Machiavellian type character, um, quite voracious, um, quite tenacious. Um, and he's quite quiet, he's a reader of, of things, but it's funny because I said to Guy at one point, I was like, I think he's quite serious physically. I think he could do some damage. And the guy's like, mm, no, nah, he's a lawyer. There's going to be no fights. And I was like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, you act you're actually right. You know what I mean? So that, his power's here. His power's here. And he brokers all of the deals for Greg. And he, he knows that uh, the dark side of uh, the, the world very well. Um, so yeah, it's been nice playing that. And Hugh's uh, just been just been fantastic to watch work. You know when he's working, he's he's excellent um, and very generous and very kind and nice. So that's been great. Um, and yeah, that's about it really with Ben, Ben Harris. I mean, we, we, guy's been very gracious as well. With we've 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 thrown a lot of extra stuff in there. You know. I think that the audiences can expect much of what they would expect from a Guy Ritchie movie, which is high octane, high energy, um, pastiches, colours. I, I, I liken his films to like, there's a celebration in India, isn't there, where 
it, it's coloured powdered um, paint. And I, and I feel like the, it, most of Guy's films, have the, they're so rich in, in, in these pastiches of colours. And this is that with this specific genre that we're in, with the world of, you know, billionaire tech people and double dealing and secret agents and this and that and l luxurious locations. So it's a lot of fun with some narrative there as well, obviously. Um, otherwise you wouldn't engage the audience. 